Before we start, please turn on closed caption for a better understanding of the video. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to see our upcoming space videos. Planning a vacation in a different country is amazing, but how about a trip to moon? I mean, do you like the idea of traveling to the moon? Well, a single train journey is all it takes to get you from the surface of the Earth all the way to the moon. Having a hard time to believe? Make sure to watch this video till the end, as we show you how Japan is sending people from Earth to moon by bullet train. People all across the world are getting closer and closer to being able to experience space flight. Now, if the most recent reports are to be acknowledged, then Japan, a nation known for its invention and cutting-edge technology, will one day be able to transport passengers on a bullet train that has been specifically designed for the purpose of space travel. This train would run between Earth, the Moon, and Mars. Even though it could take a few moments for this information to load, it has already been decided to construct a high-speed rail, and the planning stages have already begun. As the world witnessed the beginning of a second space race, scientists at Kyoto University in Japan made an announcement regarding the construction of an arbitrary space habitat, as well as interplanetary trains trying to connect the Earth, the Moon, and Mars. This announcement was created in conjunction with Kajima Construction. The group held a press conference and announced its far-reaching plans to develop the glass habitat living structure, which would simulate the gravity landscapes and atmosphere of Earth in order to prevent the weakening of the living organism musculoskeletal system that occurs in environments with zero and low gravity. As the United States restores its missions to the moon, China begins probing Mars. Russia and China together are constructing a joint lunar base, and humans beginning to live outside Earth aren't far off. The new space competition has become the turning point of our times. However, there is a danger in doing so because our bodies, as well as the physical qualities that have developed through millions of years, have adapted to the gravity and atmosphere of Earth. It is possible for human beings to become accustomed to the low gravity experienced in space, which can result in muscles, bones, as well as the exoskeletal structure as a whole not utilizing its natural strength and instead softening over time. It is considerably more dangerous to bring up children in space, as the repercussions of doing so have still not been thoroughly researched, and there is a chance that the children may not even be born alive. And even if they really do, it's possible that once they get back to Earth, they won't be able to survive on their own. The group believes that human settlement just on Moon and Mars will occur in the second decade of the 21st century. Therefore, Kyoto University with Kajima Construction intend to construct the glass, a conical living construction that will have artificial gravity. It will also include public transit, grassy spaces, and water bodies, thereby resembling the services that are found on Earth. Their illustrated presentation was shown in a press conference a week ago, and it featured a giant cylindrical-shaped upright structure showcasing rivers, water, and even campground amenities for humans to live in while they are outside the landscape of the plant. It's indeed essentially an upside-down cone, which rotates to produce a centrifugal force that simulates the influence of the real-world gravity that we experience on Earth. A simpler prototype version is something that researchers hope to develop by the year 2050. It will have a height of around 1,300 feet and a radius around 328 feet. It is estimated that it will take around 100 years to construct and put into operation the ultimate form. The home that will be located on Mars would be referred to as the Mars Glass, while the one that will be located on the Moon would be referred to as the Luna Glass. The term core biome complex refers to an interdisciplinary field that includes geology, biology, botany, different branches of physics, engineering, and climatology. Elements from the terrain and ecosystem of Earth will be extracted in order to be fed into the core biome complex. Returning astronauts from International Space Station have reported experiencing a variety of negative health impacts as a result of their time spent in space, including decreased bone density, muscle atrophy, and vision impairment. This explains the intensive fitness and strength training exercises that are frequently shown in videos involving astronauts. Because of biochemical and neurological impacts, body fluids tend to accumulate in the upper region of the body, which might have a detrimental influence on a person's eyesight. As a result, over the course of the past five decades, the field of space medicine has developed into a distinct subfield within the larger field of medicine. The group's ambitions are so far-fetched that they belong in the realm of science fiction. Those who furthermore visualize an interstellar transportation system that they call the Hexatrack 
would maintain a gravitational pull of 1g also during long-distance travel, in order to mitigate the impact of sustained exposure to low gravity. This would be done in order to protect humans from the negative side effects of this exposure. Hexacapsules are capsules that have a hexagonal shape, and the core part of the capsule is designed to contain a moving device. There is a mini-capsule with a radius of 15 meters that travels here between Earth and the Moon, and there is a giant capsule with a radius of 30 meters that travels between both the Earth and Mars, as well as the Moon and Mars. The big capsules have a design in which the exterior frame appears to float, potentially through the use of electromagnetic technology, similar to that found on maglev trains throughout Germany and China. The circular central axis is utilized for the mobility of persons as they exit each vehicle. The acceleration between the Moon and Mars remains constant at 1G in a radius of 30 meters, 5.5 revolutions per minute. The name given to the station that is located on Earth for the railway is the Terra Station. The train that travels on a normal gauge track and has six coaches is supposed to be named the Space Express. Rocket boosters will be attached to the leading and trailing cars so that they can accelerate and decelerate in space. These rocket boosters will also serve the purpose of evading the gravitational attraction of each planet and remaining outside of its atmosphere. When it visits worlds that have atmospheres, its wings open up to accommodate the conditions. It will function as a high-speed speed railway upon gauge on both the Moon and on Mars, connecting the various communities that make up the bases. Although the United States and the United Arab Emirates have been actively pushing for the migration to Mars, Japan wants to do something completely different an original idea independently. Space is already ruled by US, Russia, and China. So, this is quite a bold step forward towards interplanetary transportation. However, if someday, this experiment becomes a reality, then Japan would be the first nation to dominate the space in terms of space travel industry. Space travel will no longer be limited to sci-fi movies. Thanks to this project, our future generation will live the life we could only fantasize about while watching movies like Interstellar and The Martian. Through conversations and experiments over the past couple of years, these concepts seem to be primary technologies, which are not in the expansion plans of many other countries and are necessary for ensuring the realization of human space colonization in the future. For the past 150 years, Japan has indeed been fixated on building railways. It's time to make the idea a reality and build the very first bullet train that can travel all the way to the moon. Will Japan be the country to take the initiative to make this dream a reality? If so, will you be the one to explore the moon on a bullet train? Let me know down in the comments below. I am excited to see what you got for me about this one. Please like and subscribe to the channel and thank you so much guys for watching. Want to see more amazing content? Check out these videos too.